Hello, this is Martina Merten from Delhi. I'm a Berlin-based healthcare journalist currently doing research in India thanks to a grant of the US Pulitzer Center. I am doing research on chronic diseases. In the past, I've been focusing on healthcare systems in developing countries. I did research in the Philippines, medical tourism, Vietnam, transition of healthcare systems, and China on the effects of uh, pollution on the health for the people. Last time in India, I did research on the health insurance scheme for the poor. So this time, my focus is on chronic diseases because the majority of Indian's population is suffering from so-called NCDs, non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes, cancer, COPD, and uh, coronary heart effects. So the question is, why is there such a rise during the last 10 years? In the past, you saw that especially infectious diseases such as HIV and diabetes are uh, among the most re um, the most risk for population, but nowadays it has changed. Just a few facts about India. India is the second largest um, population of the world with 1.1 billion people living here, and this uh, amount is even rising. You have the 10th largest economy um, uh, in the world, so India is on a very good way, but if you focus on the healthcare systems, there are still some major challenges to face. So 70% are suffering from uh, chronic diseases, and my task here is during the research to find out why there is such a rise. I started my uh, interviews with the governmental side. First of all, I talked to the Indian Council of Medical Research, which belongs to the government. I talked to the non-communicable division, to Dr. Shukla and his team, and it was really interesting to learn about collecting data in this country. The outcome is there are no cohort studies, and com community-based studies are quite difficult uh, to collect, so the quality of data in this country, country about NCDs and about everything else is really poor. I continued with talking to some private hospitals, among others Medanta, which is a huge private hospital founded by Dr. Trehan. Dr. Trehan is known as the leading heart surgeon of this country. He's operating a several hundred patients a month and is seeing about 50 to 100 patients a day. And he says India has reached a critical stage and a lot of things have to change if the country wants to deal with non-communicable diseases. I also wanted to find out uh, what initiatives are done in, in uh, critical areas of Delhi and I talked to the Aga Khan Foundation, a private foundation which has some health initiatives going on in uh, certain areas of Delhi. So Dr. Simram, a health uh, worker and a doctor, uh, uh, talked with me about the education, educating people um, about non-communicable diseases, especially women. So, uh, which was also interesting to learn on the countryside. Countryside means I, uh, I've been to Lucknow, to Uttar, Uttar Pradesh, and uh, um, talked to doctors and nurses, patients over there. And I have seen a center for uh, geriatric medicine and hospice. So people uh, in, in, in India are aging just in any other countries of the world and uh, there are not enough centers for the elderly. And this is important to know because um, uh, uh, dealing with elderly patients means that there is a high prevalence of non-communicable diseases. The older a patient becomes, the more uh, NCDs he is suffering from. Um, last but not least, I wanted to see how the situation on the real countryside is. I went to uh, rural India, to a very small village with only 900 people living there, and these people were really extremely poor. If I say extremely poor, that means that they have less than one US dollar a day. There was a little healthcare center, which was basically just one bed, one doctor, and not enough medicine to treat everybody. And I also learned that here on the countryside, there um, is uh, the problem of NCDs is not as severe as in urban areas. This is Martina Merten again. I'm at the end of my research now here in India and uh, there were some amazing things I found out uh, by the help of interviews with patients, doctors, international organizations and of course the Indian government. 
first of all, the perception of NCDs in India has changed. 20 years ago, nobody was aware that non-communicable diseases are an issue. Now it is an issue. Secondly, what is necessary in order to improve the situation here in India is more education, especially for people living in rural areas. That means if they are not aware that the intake of the food they are eating on a daily basis is very unhealthy, the rise of diabetes in uh, India will go on. Third of all, what is very important is that the government finally decides to spend more money on health. GDP right now is only 4%, public spending only 1%. So the government has to change priority settings in order to find NCDs. They have to implement universal health insurance so that every Indian can be treated who is suffering from NCDs.